My name is Joe DiMaggio. I was born in Martinez, California in 1914. I was the eighth child born of nine children in my family. My oldest sister, Nellie, was the only child born in Italy. That's where my family was from. Once my mom and my dad and, and my sister, Nellie, came to California, my sister, Mammy, was born. Then my brother, Thomas, then Mary, then Michael, then Francis, then Vincent, then me, then finally Dominic. We lived in San Francisco, California. The rest, wait, my family was really poor and my dad was a fisherman. The rest of our family was forced to fish. I didn't like to fish. Sometimes when I fish, I threw, I threw up because I got seasick. When, one day I found a broken oar. I brought it back to my house to make a baseball bat out of it. I kept my project secret. One night, my dad went to where I kept my bat. He brought it to the table and asked, what is this? I told him it was a oar, but I made it into a baseball bat. He was furious. He, did, he said, I could have fixed that oar and used it on our boat. Another day, Vincent Dom and I, Dom is short for Dominic, were sitting on a bench watching older kids warming up to play a baseball game. They, they were a man down. One of the players that came, one player, one of the players came over to us and asked if Vincent would, would play with them. He said no. The he came over to me and asked the same thing. I told him I would play. He told me to go to play right field. One good play that I made was. The runner hit a ball, hit a grounder to me. I, I got the ball. I threw the ball straight to the second baseman because that's where the runner was going. And I threw it so good that it, it, the, the second baseman didn't even have to move his glove one inch. The runner was out. Wow. We... We were winning, and it was the last inning of the game. The other team was up to bat. They, there was a pop fly hit, hit towards the fence. It was going to go over the fence. I was running toward the unpadded fence, it, and, if I, and if I jumped and hit the fence, it would have really hurt. I was running. I jumped, caught the ball, went over the fence, and I broke, and I... Um, tore my pants. I had the winning catch. <laughs> my dad was not too happy about me ripping my pants because since we were so poor, we only had a certain amount of clothing, and that and we and I was wearing some good clothes. Um, the first team I played for was the San Francisco Seals in 1932. I made 60 straight games, and in those 60 games, I got a hit. I had, I had broken the rec I had broken a record. One day, we have the seals and I played a back-to-back -back game. That's a that's a game where you play two games in one day. Um, when I when the games were over and I was getting on the bus to go home, I had I felt this really bad pain in my knee. When I got, when I was getting off the bus, I collapsed on the ground because I had broken my knee. I had to go to the hospital. When my knee got better in 1934, the New York Yankees purchased me for $25,000. It would have been $50,000 because I was so good, but since I... Since I had broken my knee, the Seals would offer me for less. When I played for the Yankees, we won eight World Series. I hit a streak of 56, and that, streak, and that hitting streak has not been broken yet. I married two women. One of them gave birth to Joe DiMaggio Jr. I divorced both of them. In 1969, I was named the greatest living ball player. In 1976, Gerald Ford gave me the Medal of Freedom. 
Gerald Ford is a, was a president of the United States. He gave me the Medal of Freedom Cousin by gift of playing baseball. I also helped in World War II. Then I came back to play for the Yankees. After I retired, I started smoking three boxes of cigarettes a day. And that developed lung cancer and I died. I died on March 8, 1999 in Hollywood, Florida at the age of 84. I got to do what I dreamed of doing, playing baseball. I'm still remembered today because of my long hitting streak. If you want to see my career statistics, go to the back of the book.